What's your name? My name is Adam Deemer. Adam Deemer of Comma Cubes. Now, I'm curious how you decided what was the ultimate way to have a piece of furniture to withhold all of your comics. I mean, was there a lot of uh, prototypes involved? Were there arguments in the boardroom? How did this happen? There were a lot of prototypes. Uh, my partner and I, Scott, we uh, went through a series of, of cabinets and styles till we came up with the appropriate one that worked for everyone and all of their needs. The appropriate uh, one that worked for everyone. What, what, how, how, how is it appropriate, exactly? Well, it's, uh, it's just, uh, it's very, uh, it, it works well. Uh, if you don't mind, I can show you. Sure. Uh, it's a modular system, so it, it adapts to your needs. As your collection grows, you just buy another cabinet and you add it on. Uh, it locks together. It's very easy, user-friendly to put together. Uh, this, they slide right out. Uh, they're just very easy to use. It's uh, like Ikea then. Uh, yeah, it's a step up from Ikea. Step though. up in the sense that if I were to go ahead and get one, it wouldn't fall apart on me as I was assembling it? Correct. And it's, it's designed just for your comics. So... Uh, although you can put toys and other things in there, but it's it's designed for comics. But I mean, if I were to put say 20% of the toys that I have with 80% of the comics, would it fall apart? I mean, is it only for comics that comics is the only thing that will keep the thing together? No, no, no. It would hold up for just about anything. Yeah. Really, anything, even a nuclear blast? Well, I think so. Yes. <laughs> so you've tested this in labs? No, not quite. But uh, it will hold up to a lot of abuse. That's for sure. I'm wondering, did you do any particular testing to ensure that it would hold up to a lot of abuse? I mean, did you throw this thing off the top of a six-story building? Or? Well, it, it, it won't hold up to that, but... Uh, well, no, you know, I mean, uh, we're working on that, but no, that's a lot yeah, of... you haven't attended a lot of parties. These things happen. I've seen them happen. I guess that's true. That's a lot of abuse, though. You know? It is a lot of abuse. That's a lot to expect from uh, a cabinet. Yeah, but at the same time, things do happen, and if you're a hardcore comic fan, you're going to want to make sure that the comics within your comic cubes are actually going to withstand any potential scenario. Well, that's very true. That's very true. I will, uh, I will do some more testing on uh, destructive abuse against comic cubes. How's that? Okay. Now, do you, what's your background? Do you have a background in architecture or anything? Or uh, I'm I'm a, I'm a cabinet maker. I've been a cabinet maker for 15 years. Uh, built a lot of cabinets and uh, designed a lot of different styles of, of uh, cabinetry. So, yeah. What cabinets did you do before Comic Cubes? What kind of things did you hold? Uh, kitchens mostly and uh, bookcases. Uh, a lot of commercialized uh, casework for hospitals, schools. Uh, nurses stations, that type of stuff. So live organs will also be held in these comic cubes sufficiently and the blood will not spill over into the comic collection. Correct, that's correct. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> well, thanks so much for your time, it's a pleasure. No problem, thank All you right. very much. Thanks.